Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks a lot for stopping by for the support, the subscribing, connecting, and uh, giving this channel and the community your own opinions. Oh, sometimes the opinions are a bit spicy, eh? But that's what makes this world an amazing place. We're looking at the bottom south side of the moon, turned around. Why are you turning around? Well, so can we can see clearly up, right side up, just like the astronauts do when they go to the moon. So we're looking at different ways of looking at the moon. We can look at this veered around the other way, but I find that we see no formation. There always is a perfect side to a certain area when you zoom in to be able to see the buildings. And by turning them, it really, you know, it really changes your view, but I'm not talking about buildings right now. I'm just zooming up to the bottom half side of the moon. Um, we're looking at where those UFOs are coming out. On the bottom, right there in the darkness, um, and many other areas, UFOs are going by, and they're very hard to find. Um, I have to slow them down in the footage. I do not see them as I'm filming. Of course not. I, I don't see them after filming them and even bring it into the editor sometimes. Um, I see it very small, and that's only after slowing down my footage and after using a magnifying lens sometimes. So the objects that we're looking at are very big, but suppose, well, depending on the measurements that we've all been told about the moon, what, what can we do else than follow those numbers, right? So when I tell you it's a mile wide, well, that's so long what NASA has told us that the moon and the distance from Earth is. So, of course, just some people come here and tell me that's not right, the distance isn't right. Let's all agree on one thing. We can't say anything else but aside from what the information has already been given to us. If you come to me and tell me that you can prove that the moon's only 10,000 kilometers away, even though I know it looks closer, I still don't have that proof. And I'm not here to stick any bullshit information in anyone's head. I just want people to see what I'm finding, and that's life on the moon. That's enough. It's enough for us to uh, ponder, you know, <laughs> on other situations later on down the road. But right now, UFOs and activity is happening right before our eyes. And for the past three months, I've gathered over 30 UFOs and I've posted them on this channel. So please take the time to view the anomalies and uh, my research and what I'm finding. And I assure you, go every video you will go back you will be more and more astounded there are always more and more ufos appearing different types of ufos some look like biological creatures and i've even found what i think um, looks like possible types of clouds or storms but again it's hard when you're talking about this um in general because it could be the wavelengths that are changing the way we are seeing these objects on the surface because our eyes can't see certain colors. It's just as simple as that. And oscillating light, my mind is gonna explode, but I'm getting deeper and deeper in my research and I'm only trying to present some of the findings bit by bit because there's so much that I found out. Why does light oscillate anyways when we're dealing with phenomena such as for example, photoelectric effect, the photoelectric effect. Well, um, they resort to the photons as being particles. So these particles that give rise to the electric magnetic fields of the electromagnetic wave, well, the photon particles must be spinning and it could be the spinning that causes the light to oscillate on the surface, right? We're looking at ways and uh, theories of how and why we're seeing blurs and or, you know, very reflective surfaces. Two types of reflectivities, diffuse reflection, and you have a specular reflection. A specular reflection has uh, light bouncing off a flat surface, meaning wherever the light hits the surface, it will beam back in the same exact angle as it hit the surface. But on the surface of the moon, the light, the way it interacts on the surface, we're seeing a very diffuse reflection of the surface, meaning the light is shot out in every which direction, which could also cause many of the blurs that we are seeing. Add some haze over that, 
you have yourself a big problem being able to see the surface. But now the interaction of light on a surface, or let's just say theoretically through glass, the light would react a lot slower, it would take a lot more time for the light to get through also. Well, I got enough. That's enough information overload for me anyways. And how about some music?
Imagine this not being top headlines in every country of the world. Listen, it's UFOs on the surface. The, we even see its shadow. It's so close to the surface. They go in and out of the craters, and that's the most exceptional thing. There are many different types of UFOs, so I thank you all for sharing the videos and for stopping by. Thanks for the support, everyone. If you have any UFO videos that you own the copyrights to and you'd like to have seen on a video on my channel, please send them to Bruce Wartz, 75 acommercialgmailcom with a short description and leave your name.